Hello Shinobi, and welcome back to Sekiro, Wheat Fields, Not Rice. And in this part, we are going to eavesdrop. Just a moment. Maybe they too are playing Genshin Impact. Oh sweet, I got three times damage on my next turn. I see. We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. Just start complaining about the, uh, the Star Wars new trilogy. That'll do it. Episode 9 was a terrible movie! I didn't actually see Episode 9 yet. Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with why I just did? Ah, I love how badass this game makes me feel at times. So Wolf is a badass. Yeah, Wolf is a badass. Cloud, not so much, but Wolf is. Well, Cloud aspires to be as cool as Wolf is, but here I am just driving a puppet of my own aspirations. Whereas Wolf is dedicated, and he usually does not die on his first attempt at the boss battle. There are no second attempts at the boss battle. Die, chicken. Salt. Oh, yeah. Salt. Salt. That means there will be more death in the near future. Now's the time to cash in on death. Hell yeah. You're selling, you're selling it to people who need it, though. Yes, that makes him a profiteer. Therefore, he sucks. Well, I mean, he hasn't... So, are hasn't, we actually <laughs> ever going to purchase the Phantom Kunai? I think eventually... I mean, eventually you just you just run out of stuff to buy. Like you can put off putting getting some items as long as you can. Eventually you're just gonna get it just for the sake of having a fucking outlet for your money. <laughs> okay. Yes. Come back to see him later. He does not immediately have new stock upon realizing this latest venture that he could totally profit off of, but he'll have some later. All right, pot. so last time, uh, most of what we did was go take down the uh, Jutsu Master and uh, learn uh, Lightning Reversal. What is our next major task? Our next major task is to pray to the Buddha, take a deep breath, and clutch onto one's own spirit. Well, who's the next major boss that we got to go, uh, go deal with? That would be Genichiro. Genichiro is blocking pretty much everything else at this point except for... Oh. I mean, okay, so he's not blocking all of the currently accessible bosses, but he's blocking a lot of the story relevant bosses right now because he is okay. a sport. He is a story relevant boss. Ah, how did you know I had such a bulge? Now, the so we're gonna sell our bolt, our bulging coin purse. We actually have enough uh, coin purses to sell to get the gourd seed if you want it. Yeah, I believe that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting I'm getting the gourd seed while I can because I had 400 just from loot drops and what have you, and then I had a bulging coin purse, and that's usually the function of the of the coin purses is to give you the money when you need it. I actually am not going for the gourd seed. I'm going back to the Black Hat Badger at the old grave checkpoint in order to get the Iron Fortress Shinobi tool that he also had, which I did not mention in the last part. This Shinobi mm -hmm. tool allows you also to use a really cool weapon called the Shinobi Umbrella, which gives you protection from projectile attacks and from anything that is basically not a sweep attack. Ooh.
uh, passed down through generations of assassins serving Senpo Temple, it wouldn't be surprising if the next owner decided its weight was impractical. Its impractical. weight is a little impractical, and I have buyer's remorse. I will admit, I did have fun using the Iron Butter, uh, using the the Iron Fortress slash Shinobi Umbrella after you upgrade it. Because after you okay. upgrade it, it gets really cool. But in its base form, basically what it does is it gives you it, it gives you walk around protection, so you can move a little faster while you're blocking. Um, and I believe it also gives you the neat steroid that it's easier to deflect as long as you're using the umbrella. However, it costs spirit emblems to deploy the umbrella, and it also costs spirit emblems to use the deflect. Ah. Yeah, if it's going to cost spirit emblems just uh, just to engage in uh, on easier or, or deflect, I would admittedly probably not go for it, mostly because uh, the deflect timings are something that I would feel like I would need to do, um, uh, need to learn on my own. Right. This is a good teacher for if you don't know when the correct timing is to deflect, because it will it will give you a little clue as to where the window is. Okay. So, I yes, I, I did have, on one playthrough, I said, okay, I spent one playthrough using Shuriken the whole time, so this time I'm going to use the Umbrella. I had a good time with the Umbrella run. Um, it, has a, it has a lot of really interesting applications, because um, some enemies are just plain impossible to avoid their attacks, and it's in between those attacks when you must strike. A lot of exposition. <laughs> Oh, so we poison the water with with um, immortality, huh? The dragon's blood, the rejuvenating waters. Well, it is sacred. It's just a point. It's just a curse of undeath. Yeah, haven't you played Dark Souls before? The undead curse sucks. All right. So are we gonna actually go up against Genichiro now? No, nope, not yet. I'm not ready yet. We are going to spend some places, spend some time in some new places. But I like starting from the Ashina Dojo because it is one of the highest points in the Ashina Castle region. And it very quickly gets you access to the places, maybe the places where you haven't been to yet. Because traversing the sprawling maze fortress on ground is slow and inefficient. You're better off just gliding off of rooftops like your Altair or some shit. Mm, Sekiro never gets a glider though. Here's an area we haven't been to yet. This is the entrance to the abandoned dungeon. Uh, there's an oni with a bunch of with a bunch of wolves. There's an oni with a pony. <laughs> New sculptor's idol. Yes, I kind of wonder if I'm gonna actually. Yes, I do access it. So that means that I unlocked it on the sculptor's idol menu, even though I got interrupted from actually resting at it because there are dogs. Ah, thank you. Whoa. <sighs> Feels good. Definitely feels good. A clean soul depends on a clean mind and a clean body. Soul leader. Mm, so what are we looking to purchase now, Mr. Cloud? Well, I mean, I don't have the list right in front. I'm getting prerequisites for more powerful mm, materials. Suppress presence. Yeah, I'm mm. pretty sure what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get that second Shinobi Eyes upgrade so that Makiri counter will deal even more posture damage when I successfully deploy it. I am going to fight Giant Bellman because I do not realize how dangerous this particular foe is. One thing you will notice about Dark Souls games a lot is that they will lull you into a false sense of security very often. And, oh, his, his his drag actually uh, counts as a uh, as an attack. All right. Yeah, you really don't want him to being on top of you. Ow. No, 
stop, no, 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 stop that, stop that, stop that. You, you really should be stopping that. All right, attack him. All right, he's almost out of posture health. God damn it. That son of a bitch. I get my hands on you. And slaying. Yeah. Fatty has so much weight. And some more black gunpowder. Yep. So that dude was guarding upgrade materials. And a memorial mob, kind of. Another one. You bastards. We, of the impure, cannot turn a blind eye to anyone. You, you're dirty. Go ahead, buy something. What you got there? What are you buying? What are you selling? Mm. Oh, he's got Mask Fragment. Mm, he also has a prayer bead. He does have a prayer bead. You should probably get that prayer bead first and leave that Mask Fragment alone for a really long time. Individually, the mask fragments are useful are useless. They also are useless because we do not even have the correct location for when they actually become useful. So, okay. yes, take your time getting the mask fragments. Do not blow your coin purses on something so expensive that is altogether so useless right now. But it also counts as a key item, yes? It is a key item. Once it is acquired, it can't be dropped, yes. Welcome. To the, to the abandoned, abandoned dungeon. Oh, I wonder who lives here. Well, nobody silly, it's abandoned. No rotting prisoner's note. I'd like to know, but it seems I never will. Kotaro, forgive me. But what does it mean to throw oneself off a bridge? What does it mean to throw someone under the bus? Ow. Ah! Scarabs. Well, they shouldn't well, be scared actually, of actually they're pan. I think they're cri they, 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 these are these are like flat these are like flesh eating grasshoppers is what they are cuz they usually show so, Yeah, they uh, usually show so up in carnivorous place. locusts. But are there carnivorous locusts in Japan? Uh locusts, yes, because locusts are incredibly adaptable, but carnivorous locusts now. At that point I'm pretty sure they just become cockroaches. Hey, they might as well be cockroaches. Depends. Is your name going to be Moroku? This guy is, is basically Moroku. You don't know want... I, I think that there is, like, a best move... There is definitely a best move with this dude, with this doctor fellow here. His name is Dojun. Um, he's, he's an assistant. Why should we care? Uh, the, depending on the choices that you make during dialogue moments like that one, as we interact with the various ca characters and Shekiro, and Sekiro, everyone tries twice, that in subsequent playthroughs, you will pick alternate pathways that will maybe send a man over that way, so he can lobotomize him and turn him into, reju into a rejuvenating waters test subject. Mm, so the dude that's obsessed with the, uh, with the woman with the liar... <laughs> uh, see, you would think that, right? But that's actually not the case. Uh, there's another character uh, whom you could send his way. The reason why you can't get that guy to go over is because he is literally so goddamn obsessed with finding Shamizen woman that he won't go anywhere else. <laughs> oh. Uh, don't mind me, guys. I'm just... Echo Sugar. Echo Sugar is the attack one, right? That's the attack one. Can I trouble you from some sugar? Ah, uh, the sugars. There, if, if you find one of the more well-hidden skill compendiums in this game, it gives you a steroid, making it so your sugars last one and a half times as long as they normally do. Mm, so instead of, instead of 15, it's 22? I think it's instead of like 30, it's more like 45 or something. And yeah. in the next part, we are going to proceed deeper into the abandoned dungeon in order to spill its secrets.